Hey guys, today we're looking at Stunner 2 for the Galaxy Note GT N7000. Let's do it. Right, so the first thing you want to know is what is this ROM based on? Now this is a CM10 ROM, so there's no Samsung there's no sense some apps, uh, note, calendar, all those things won't work on this. So let's go and have a look. It's Android 4.2.1. That's a kernel version. There's a build number. Now this is Stunner 2. And in a second I'm going to go into the features of what makes this different from other CM10s. Um, not like the Nightlies and Paranoid Edition etc. So as you can see, because it's a clean jelly bean, it's really smooth. Oops, sorry about that. Um, but let's go straight into what makes this ROM so special. Now if we go and have a look at the actually system settings, we can see that it's ROM control. And inside that ROM we have the user interface. We have lock screens, power menu, navigation. navigation. We can change the battery icon. At the moment I've got it circle mod, so you can have it to not show, you can have it center mirrored. We have a themes tab, which is the same as every other CM10. We have performance control, and that's CPU settings. We also have voltage control, so we can undervolt it to save more power. And we have advanced, so we can set to free memory when it boots up. Um, but I'd leave that alone if I were you. And we have also a CPU spy inbuilt, so we can see how long it's been deep sleeping. We have a profiles option, which is the same as CM10 as well. And we also have stunner settings. Um, Pi control is probably the best thing that this ROM offers. And as you can see, when I drag my finger up, we have this little menu system that comes up. It has the time, it has our Wi-Fi that we're on. It has quite a bit of information there. It also has a left arrow, home button, a settings option, and a Google search option. So if we go into stunner settings, and we go into Pi, we can change where that appears on the screen. It's Pi controls. So we can set how big we want it to appear. We can set on the foot wants to come in from the left screen or the, the right of the screen, the top, from the bottom. As you can see, I have it set for the bottom. So to change the location, if we click on Pi controls and we click on the Pi gravity, you can see if I set it for the right hand side. And I'll just switch my note around for a better view. Now, with a phone that doesn't have soft keys like the Note has, this would be a fantastic ROM. Um, with the Note, I actually prefer to use my soft keys. Um, perhaps the Note 3 with its bigger screen will not have soft keys, and this ROM would be fantastic in that case. Um, the lock screen. Just like 4.2.1, we can add widgets to the lock screen. So let me just add an HD widget. Now adding widgets to your lock screen is an excellent way of not having to unlock your phone to check whether or look at your new email that's come in or your SMS etc. But having too many does make it a bit sluggish. So maybe two lock screens. This lock screen here. And if I scroll across we have a camera. So I'd probably just stick to those two. Just the two. Um, if you're not familiar with the Jelly Bean camera, it's touch menu just like that pie we saw before and we have another edition of the gallery option which is cool I quite like being able to go into my gallery from my camera app we also have the addition of an app called explore I actually quite like this I used to be running with file manager but I think this will be my new my new manager of choice it highlights the current selected folder you're in which makes it really easy to navigate right so that's about it if you want to download this ROM and try it for yourself, check out the description. I'll add a link to the kernel and to the ROM to download them. So thanks for watching guys. If you want to download the ROM, get into it. Here we go, out.